All right, you're welcome again. This is going to be our practical session. Now, having explained all that the foundation is, we, it's good to know what we need to actually have a successful um, stress each free practical session. Okay? Number one, you need to have, which is the most basic, this. I've explained it. It's your lubricants. Your voice cannot work effectively or function effectively without this, especially when you're in a vocal class. You need this most importantly. Number two, we're going to be using a toothpick. We're going to be using a plain sheet of paper. I believe all is here. We're going to be having to um, um, do a little bit of uh, jogging. I believe you guys are okay. Okay, with that, okay. Then we're going to be doing a lot of um, um, harmonic singing um, notes combinations, which is going to be very, very technical. It looks simple, but by the time we engage the dynamics to it, it's going to be technical, okay? But you, you will love it. You will, you will like the effects, I can, I can guarantee you. All right, number one, I want to ask you a question because this is where we're going to start with, our breath, okay? I'm sure you have a lot of, You've seen a lot of videos on breathing exercises. There are about a thousand or a million of them all around the world. But um, there are some that are more effective than the others. How I many of you have heard about semi-occluded vocal tract exercise, SOVT? Any of you? Okay. Let me tell you what it means. SOVT as semi-occluded vocal tract means is that um, those are, it's a partial closure to your lips, the most basic meaning to it. It's a partial closure. Semi-occluded means partial, partially closed um, vocal tract exercises. Vocal tract exercises. Semi-occluded vocal, uh, uh, SOVT are the best vocal exercises you can do for both your breathing, your, and your, sorry, your, for, for both your generator and your vibrator. For your articulators, we have the articulatory exercise, which we have the tongue twisters. It's going to loosen all the stress and tension in your jaw for your, for, your, um, for your voice to function correctly. Is that okay? Yeah. So number one, I'm sure you know it, Lipro. Everybody knows that. Children do this at home, you know. You see them doing that. The, the other one is the tongue roll. I'm sure you know that too. And the last one is the um, deformation through the straw. This is probably one of the most efficient and effective ones. I've not seen it around much, but it's very, very effective. I'm sure you've not heard about that before. Okay, there are a lot of vocal, beautiful, powerful singers out there that engage it. And if you do it, I'm telling you, it's going to change your singing forever. In fact, if that's the only thing you're doing, you, you'll be so amazed at the results you, you're going to get. And that's, we call it the straw formation, okay? So we'll get into that as we go into the proper um, um, practical session. So. I'll need you to leave everything in your hand as we rise up. We're going to be needing to... Let's stand. Okay. Please, can you um, probably collapse the chair to each other, to one side, so we can have... Thank you, thank you, thank you. You can put your water behind you too. All right, thank you very much. Okay, before we go into the piano aspects, we're going to do this. Okay, now you're going to um, help me stretch. You know, when you wake up in the morning, what do you do? You just get up and start moving and hustling and bustling, right? No, you stretch. Oh, yes. And what that does is to reduce and relax the muscles, reduce the tension and the likes of it. So I would like you to just have a stretch. Now, you're going to stretch not just your body, but specifically your vocal components. Number one, which is your ribs, which houses your lungs. That is the generator, okay? So you're going to stretch this aspect this way. Go this way. Come on, put your hand down. And this is the reason why you have to dress sporty, okay? This way. Go this way. All right, go the other way. Stretch. Come on, relax, people. You guys are... Hey. <laughs> relax, relax, relax. Okay, can we do it again? Stretch this way. Okay. Okay, stretch. Beautiful. Raise your hand up. 
Okay, feel the tension, feel the pull here. You can feel it, okay. <laughs> Alright, can I go the other way now? Go the other way. Alright. You can feel it also. Okay, beautiful. Alright, alright, okay, alright. Okay, can we stretch backward? I'm going to try to relax the muscles here. This way. Feel the pull, feel the pull. Can you feel it? Okay, beautiful. Alright, now I want you to bend down until you touch your toes. Feel the pull behind your legs, at your back, by your arms, shoulders, everywhere. Can you feel that? Yep. All right, do that for the next five seconds. Okay, come back up, everybody, come up. Okay. We're just stretching, we've not done anything, and you ready? I'm not feeling anything, Oh, you're not feeling anything? Oh, you don't have to. It's a stretch. Okay. Okay. If you if you are not feeling any pull, it's probably because you've been doing that already, or you are very sporty. Um, okay, all right. So we're going to go into the first basic exercise, which is our breathing exercise. How many of you can hold your breath for a minute? Okay, sixty seconds. Okay, the standard. If you check Project Film and the likes of them. The standard, I think their the benchmark there is 180 seconds. And that's about three minutes, if I'm not mistaken, right? Three minutes. My standard is a little bit higher than that because I like to uh, push my, um, sorry? Yes, I like to push that limit. Let's have it to four minutes. I'm not asking you to do four minutes as a goal. Let me interest you. Someone I was training, I think about a month ago, or two months ago, I held her breath for about eight minutes. That is going to help you build the capacity is it, is it of your breath. Yes, you're going to hold your breath. Or holding your breath. Okay. I'm sure you've seen swimmers that go deep and they are there five minutes and more. Okay? And of course, they are, they are swimming, they are, they, are, they are expending energy, so it should be harder for them. Now you're just going to be standing and just holding your breath. So, can we do that? So, taking a deep breath, everybody. Relax your shoulders. Come on. Okay, let me tell you this. When you stand, you're not supposed to stand um, this way. You're going to stand upright. Your sternum, this is your sternum. You have the bone in your chest, chest bone, firm and out. Okay? As people say, chest out. Okay? Can we do that? Your hands by your, sho by your side. Now, the line of symmetry is going to be your hair low to your shoulders, your hips, your knee, and to your ankle. Everything must be in a straight line. So I want you to um, turn sideways. I want to see you. Yes, turn sideways one by one. Okay, beautiful. Yes, I like that. Okay, beautiful. Yes, yes, beautiful. So taking a deep breath, everybody. One, two, three, go. Okay, we did something wrong there. Can someone tell me what is what it is? Yeah, your shoulder. Beautiful. <laughs> you raise your shoulder. You raise your chest. Mm -hmm. Where does your breath goes into? That. Diaphragm? Yeah, that no, it goes into your lungs. Okay. Biology students. <laughs> your breath goes into your lungs. <laughs> okay. Okay, it goes into your lungs. Through your trachea, you know, it goes into your lungs. You have to understand that. And your lungs is here. It's not here. So if you're doing this, it's wrong. That's vertical breathing. Have you seen a baby breathing? Yes. They expand on every side. They don't do this. So it means when we are growing up, we picked up bad habits of breathing. So we have to unlearn. So the problem is going to be a little bit difficult. All right? So when you breathe in, you expand here. Yeah. Better still, you can push your stomach out. Can you do that? One, two, go. Out. Now I want you to breathe in very deep. One, two, go. Don't raise your chest. Relax here. Everything here should be stay calm and relax. Relax your shoulders, okay? One, two, ready, go. Hold it out. Can you put some your hand on your stomach? On your solar plexus, just a little bit in between your ribs, join here and uh, the navel, the, the middle, is your solar plexus. Just put your hand there. Breathe in. Out. Breathe in. Out. Now, if you are doing it correctly, you, you should be feeling an expansion round about here. Okay? Someone will say that's the diaphragm. Diaphragm is not, it's just a muscle. Let me just cut the long story short. It's a muscle. 
that connects from here back to your back. And it's a dune shaped muscle that pull down. It's only active when you breathe in. The diaphragm is not active, it does nothing when you breathe out. Check it up, you can go on to do your research on that. Okay? So you're only engaging your diaphragm to breathe in. It helps you pull your, your breath in. So that is what we want to kickstart. Remember, if your generator is faulty, there can be no there can be no power supply. So if there's no power supply, please, are you a singer? You're not a singer, okay? <laughs> You're not a singer if you cannot get that functioning properly. So we're going to get that functioning properly a little bit further right now. Now that you'll be able to, you're able to breathe in, we're going to breathe in deep on that same posture. On that same, don't, don't lose your posture. Stay relaxed. Your shoulders, totally relaxed. Totally relaxed. Make sure your sternum is out. It's not this way, okay? So I want you to take in a deep breath and hold it. Hold. Now I want you to go down and touch your toes with that. Let's go down gently and touch your toes. Gently. I'm going to count from 1 to 10 very slowly. I'm going to count from 1 to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Nine and ten. <laughs> oh my god, what happened? <laughs> You're supposed to hold it. Why you come back up? Okay. Oh. I, I, okay, we're going to do it again. Alright, All right. All right. you're going to hold your breath right there. Yeah. I, I can see it's working already, and that's why you, you couldn't hold it. So I'm really doubting if any of you can hold your breath to a minute. Okay? We'll see about that. Okay, I like that challenge. It's a challenge then. <laughs> Alright, we're going to do that. Let's breathe in. Don't forget your posture. Maintain that good posture, okay? Breathe in. Expand here. Out. Relax. Okay, breathe in now. As we go, mm -mm. relax. Let's relax. She raised her chest and I'll do on that. Okay, one more time. Breathe in. And hold. Now, we go faster now. Touch your toes. One, two, go. Touch your toes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come back up gently. Now you're going to hold there for under ten seconds. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. <coughs> oh my god. Imagine someone's already coughing. <laughs> I think this is the simplest of the breathing exercise. Okay, so we're going to, because of time, I won't ask you to hold your breath right here. It's to take us quite a lot of time. So we're going to do that probably some other time. But you are to hold your breath for at least, at least. Three minutes. You should be able to hold your breath for that long. Somebody will ask me why. Why? Yes. It means you cannot hold the tension. If you're going to sing a phrase, probably a long phrase in a song, you want to rush it down because you want to quickly take it down that air. But if you can bear and hold that tension, you can hold, you can just keep that stamina. It's building stamina. You'll be able to probably do better. Now, you may not see the direct result of it, but if you can maintain that healthy lifestyle, healthy um, capacity and stamina it will benefit you in so many ways when you sing beyond just singing a long phrase even when you sing a song that evolves or in, needs you to um, be all over I mean you are you're not having any break you just um, every line you're coming in you need a lot of energy you need stamina for that as well and that's why you see a lot of singers around here um, having vocal breaks vocal crack oh, I love my voice that is an extension anyway, but the generator needs to function properly to support all that, okay? I'm sure you've heard about breath control, breath support. Okay. So now what we are working on is breath support. Breath support is the foundation. Now the control comes later. Breath support means how you can have enough breath to manage. The word support should have been changed for breath management. It's not necessarily supporting anything. It's just how well you can manage the breath for a particular phrase. 
now, before now, I believe you guys sang a song, and um, you're supposed to breathe in the same time, manage the same breath for a, a particular phrase, breathe out and breathe in again at the same time, manage the same breath for another phrase together. You're not supposed to breathe in different times. Those are what they call breath stops, breath marks in music. There are so many of them like that. Okay? We'll get into all that later on. Now we're going to do another thing, which is a little bit technical now. Okay? Take this. I hope you don't mind me trying to explain a lot. I'm trying to do this so everybody can be on the same page. All right. You'll be wondering, I'm giving you a plain sheet of paper. What it will do. Now we're going to be facing that paper again. Okay, this is mine. We're going to be putting that paper against the wall. Okay? Now, what that will do is this. <coughs> or what this is meant for is to help you see how well you can manage your breath. You're supposed to keep this paper fixed to the wall with your breath. Is that okay? Now, you're going to keep it, give it exactly what it needs, not too much, and for as long, not too much, not too small, for as long as you can. Let me say that again. You are meant to fix this to the wall with your breath, the exact amount of air it needs to stay to the wall. Not too much, not too small, and for as long as you can. Is that okay? So you're going to take a spot, each one of you, face the wall over there, a plain wall, please. Don't, don't use that. That will... No, let's do, use, utilize this place. All right. Beautiful. Is that okay? Put it exactly at the, um, the height of your face. One, two, ready, go. You try, but none of you is doing it correctly. Right. I just showed you this right now. Okay. You're not going to use your hands at all. So, okay. One, two, ready, go. Please clap for me. Let's see if you can do that again. Now, it's a challenge to many of you to do the same. Don't use your hands. Once you blow, give it exact amount of energy you need and for as long as you can. Don't forget, as long as you can. Once you're ready, go. <laughs> Are you serious? It's not sticking. You need to give it more, more push. Okay. Give it more push. No, the... <laughs> okay. All right. I think we're gonna take it one by one now. Um, please, can you really come over? Let's have her. Oh my god! Now you can see how faulty the generator is. Good. And the generator is. I know you're doing it, but you're not doing it correctly. Now I'm sure you've seen um. Uh, Places where people are given a candle and asked to blow, probably at a, a good distance, to pull it off. It's, a, yeah, great. it's, it's because they want you to target your air flow in a, in, a, in a straight direction. When you blow, you're not supposed to blow all over. You are blowing directly, targeted at the center of this to keep it fixed, like so. It's quite very easy. I actually didn't take enough. I didn't take enough breath, and I could still do that. So, at a good distance, yes, at that. So, target the center here. One, move your hands. I'll, I'll hold it for you. Don't worry. One, two. Okay, at your cue. Good. All right. You, 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 you tried, but you couldn't blow enough. So, blow harder now. Harder. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> I, I want to do it again, I'll see. You will, you will. Okay. One, two, ready, go. Oh my god. Okay, stop laughing. <laughs> Don't worry, it will come to your turn. Yeah. Okay, let's do it again. One, two, ready, go. My it? God, this generator is very hot. No, so we need to. Hold <laughs> it down before the air gets to it. I I held it. Okay, try it again. Go. 
Uh, no, this was supported by the, was the, rough, the texture of the wall. Was it? Yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me do the let me sign it. Uh, okay, let's do it the last time. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. You are blowing wrongly. Uh, can you blow into my hands, the palm? No, you are not blowing. Blow. Ah, okay. <laughs> Bring your hand. Fine. Do you feel my hand? Yes. You are doing this. You are not blowing. That's it. That's what it means. Blow. Okay. I understand. Oh my God. Please, let's celebrate okay. that. <laughs> okay. Now she gets... Now. Okay, hold on. Let me just explain a little bit further. It's not going to be convenient. See, you have to leave your comfort okay. zone. It's not... It's nothing... There's nothing comfortable about breathing or training in your voice. You have to engage. It's a push. Like I said that, it's a push. Blow. Don't just assume you are blowing, you are blowing that one. Target your air and push from here. Okay? Remember, your diaphragm has nothing to do with your ex um, exhale. It's only function in your inhale. So your diaphragm cannot help you. But the abdominal muscle can help you. You push. That's what you need. Can you do that again? One, two, ready, go. Uh, you, you went back to default. <laughs> All right, let's have another person. Let's have another person. Okay, she gets it now. Let's have another person. Let's have another person. Let's move faster now. Let's move faster. Let's move faster. All right. One, two, ready, go. Okay, that was a good try. Let's say that was the first. So I want to see an improvement on that. Blue, blue. That's good, that's good. That's what I want to see. Please let's have a Let's applaud her. Alright, sir. Let's. Okay, I want to leave being a man here. You're going to do better. Alright. One, two, ready, go. That's. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Let's do it again. Let's be sure. Hold on. Blow to my palm. Let me, see. Let me feel it. Okay, you are blowing too much and it's not directed. It's spread out. Target this place. Okay? Target this center. The center of the paper. Probably I should draw a circle there. Hold on. Probably I should draw a circle there. Target this. I get that. That's a good try. That's a good try. Let's celebrate it as well. All right, who's the last person? Okay, she has been hiding. So let's be sure she's going to do Okay, anyway. One, two, ready, go. Okay, imagine. She doesn't want anything. She doesn't want that was any, totally wrong. Totally it's totally wrong. Okay. Actually. You you gave too much. Okay. You need just the right amount of air it needs. Okay? To stay put. The generator is working, don't worry. One, two, ready, go. Okay, it's it wasn't enough. Can you blow to my palm? Let me feel it. No, that's not strong at all. No, you are, you are only doing a lead blow. Blow from the inside. Okay, that's better. You improve again. It's scattered all over. Let me put a circle in the middle of you. You have two as well. So this is your target, okay? This is your target. Bring your palm, let me show you. It's not the beat. It's not the sound. Okay. It's the, the, the pressure at the air flow that I need to okay. hit the circle. So do that very soon. Beautiful! Come on! That's oh, nice! Did <laughs> anybody see that? Okay. okay, come, come, come. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Alright, one, two, ready, go. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, it's not Amazing. totally okay, but, but try. Better. I'm better. We can all celebrate ourselves. You all tried, you all tried. Okay, you can just take the paper and relax. You can drop the paper, I mean. <laughs>